Well, welcome back. We're here now, of course, for the main event press conference, the WBA World Featherweight title, the super WBA Featherweight World title against the champion, Lee Wood, against Maurizio Lara, this Saturday, live on the zone around the world from the Nottingham Arena. And what a fight we have here. Someone said to me earlier, what, what gives you a big fight feeling? And it's just driving up the M1, excited, thinking about what might happen on Saturday night thinking about the atmosphere, thinking about the great nights we've experienced in this arena. Carl Froch beating Lucien Butte, Lee Wood beating Michael Conlon. Honestly, on Saturday night, I think you're going to get the best we've ever seen in this city. This is a tremendous fight to bring to the UK, and we're so proud of Lee Wood, the champion, for accepting this challenge as the champion. The first time you see an underdog in his home city take a voluntary defence, him and his trainer, Ben Davison, they see something. They see an opportunity to become the daddy of the division on Saturday night. For me, this is to determine the number one fighter in the 126 pound division. There's gonna be drama, there's gonna be excitement, there's gonna be plenty of violence. And this is gonna be a tremendous fight on Saturday night. We cannot wait. Welcome to the team of Maurizio Lara. Welcome to the team of Lee Wood. And we'll start with Maurizio and Alejandro. Welcome. Uh, I'll ask you, a massive opportunity. I guess you may have been surprised when this opportunity come. But what a tremendous fight and a massive chance for your man, Maurizio Lara, to become world champion on Saturday. Pero es una oportunidad enorme para Maurizio Lara para convertirte en campeón del mundo el sábado por la noche. Sí, así es, Eddie. Antes que nada, eh, agradecer la, la oportunidad a la empresa Macho, agradecer al equipo de Ligu de habernos dado la oportunidad para que Mauricio esté a dos días de poder cumplir el sueño tantas veces anhelado de disputar un título del mundo y de ser campeón mundial, que para eso ha entrenado y se ha esforzado tanto tiempo. Lo, 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 lo buscó desde la primera vez con Josh Warrington, la pelea por el título del mundo no se dio, pero en esta ocasión estamos muy contentos y muy seguros de que lo va, lo va a conseguir. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you very much, Eddie, for the opportunity. We also have to thank um, Lee Wood's team for this opportunity. It's for giving Mauricio the opportunity, he's now just two days away from becoming world champion. It was a dream that he's had for a long, long time. We hoped that he'd do it against Josh Warrington. Unfortunately, that title or that fight wasn't for a world title in the end. But I'm totally convinced now that through all the hard work and suffering he's gone through, that he's going to become world champion on Saturday night. Alejandro, you know this, this man, you know the journey that he's been on. Tell us a little bit about that and how much does he want victory on Saturday night? Alejandro, you know well from the path, from the trajectory that has had Mauricio Lara during his career as a boxer. How much does he want this title of the world for Saturday night? Como todo peleador, el, el máximo aspira, aspiración es ser campeón mundial, pero yo conociendo a Mauricio desde hace más de seis años, desde el momento en que eh, platicamos la primera vez, él siempre tuvo un sueño de ser campeón del mundo y él decía, yo quiero conquistar el título y que mi nombre sea recordado en la historia del boxeo mexicano y en la historia del boxeo mundial. Y estamos a tan solo dos días de que lo pueda conseguir. La verdad es que yo lo veo muy seguro, muy confiado y estamos muy motivados todo el equipo y todo México que está muy pendiente de que va a poder conseguir su sueño. Yeah, so, you know, like all fighters, they always go on and say that I want to be world champion. They always have that maximum dream. Um, but Mauricio always said that to me. I met him a little over six years ago, and he always said it was a dream to become world champion. And he always said that he wanted to, his name to sound uh, in Mexico and to be a name that's recognized. And now he's just two days away from this. And we're really, really confident, we're really motivated. Not just us, but everyone back home in Mexico. They believe that he will become world champion. Thank you, Alejandro. Ben Davison, part of the team, part of the reason that we're here, not just for previous fights, but both you guys chose this fight. It wasn't Lee Wood against your will. It was you two together said Maurizio Lara is the guy. I said, and I want to take the credit for this fight, but you two have to take the credit. I said, let's have an easy one. You just had fight of the year. You've got the whole city behind you. Lee Wood said, I don't want easy ones. I don't think I'll box well in easy ones. I said, what about Kiko Martinez? You went, no, what about Maurizio Lara? People still don't understand. I'm sure you say people will see on Saturday night. You know how tough this challenge is, but you two firmly believe that you have got the beating of this man and will establish yourself as number one in the division on Saturday night. Yeah, styles make fights uh, more than levels. And um, 
you know, Lee Wood's been written off num numerous times for his career. Uh, when he lost it for the British title early on, when he lost in the golden contract, when he was boxing Kanzu, when he was boxing Michael Conlon, and every time, you know, he's come back better and stronger, and that's uh, and, and rose to the challenge, and that's when you see the best of Lee Wood, and exactly that what you just said there. I think that a fight that Lee's heavy favourite in, you, you won't see the best from Lee Wood, and uh, you know, as I said, styles make fights, and. and Mauricio Lara is a very brave fighter, a very dangerous fighter, but um, in the midst of chaos lies opportunity, and I just believe that you can't be as reckless as he is against a puncher like Lee Wood. People talk about how tough Mauricio Lara is, people talk about how hard Mauricio Lara punches. You've long said, I remember sitting down in the, dub, in the bubble for the Reese Mould fight, just when you started working with Lee, I've never known power like this, pound for pound power on a fighter. This guy has the opportunity and the ability to take you out at any time. He does look Lee. Lee, by far, it doesn't. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind who the bigger puncher is. But you know that's not always how it plays out in a fight. That you know who punches harder wins the fight. That's not always how how the fight plays out. But Lee is very well drilled, um, very well prepared. He knows exactly what he needs to do, um, and will have the intelligence and the IQ to create the opportunities and scenarios that favour him in the fight. Um, for him to to execute what he needs to execute to to end the fight. Obviously, you work with a lot of fighters as well. How much and how different is it going into this fight, almost you know, with the fear factor of fighting a Maurizio Lara, how much you know your fighter will be switched on day in, day out in camp on fight week. He knows that he can't make mistakes on Saturday. He's experienced that cauldron of the pool packed out arena in Nottingham. He has those experiences those nights, but he knows as well the challenge that's ahead and, and you've had a focused man this camp. Yeah, but, uh, Lee Wood's not, not the fear is not anything to do do with uh, Lee's mindset going into this fight you know we're very confident Lee's very confident um, and if anything Maurizio Lara needs to be worried and feared Lee would because he'll be the one that that comes out victorious and, and he's the danger man in the fight thank you Ben Maurizio welcome um, you know I, I should know better as your team that promotes you but I was only reminded yesterday that you are only 24 years of age, so young in the sport of boxing, but have experienced so much in your career. On Saturday night, you are convinced that you become world champion in Nottingham. Mauricio, bienvenido en primer lugar. Debería saber esto ya, pero algunas personas me, me recuerdan que solo tienes tan solo 24 años, pero tienes tanta historia ya en el boxeo, has cumplido tantas cosas. El sábado estás convencido que vas a ser campeón del mundo. Este, hola, hola, buenas tardes a todos. Buenos días, ¿verdad? Sí, me siento contento, entusiasmado y sé que me he preparado como nunca para esta pelea. Sé que es la oportunidad de mi vida y, y como he dicho, soy una persona que, que las oportunidades las toma al primer instante, ¿no? So, first and foremost, can I say hello to everyone here. Hope you well. I'm feeling really, really happy. I mean, as I say, this is an opportunity that has come round and when opportunities do come round I, I take them with both hands and I feel that I'm you know, convinced that I will win. You are known as, as the danger man in the division. Um, Lee Wood's trainer just says that you should fear Lee Wood in this fight with his punch power as well. You, you take this fight very seriously and you know this is a very dangerous fight for you. Obviamente hemos escuchado el equipo de Lee Wood diciendo que te, tú también te debías tener un poco de miedo porque él también tiene poder y también tienes que tomarlo como una pelea seria, ¿no? Es, es, es el sábado por la noche. Eh, bueno, claro, sabemos que ni un, ni un, yo ningún boxeador lo menosprecio, ¿no? Pero sé qué capacidad tiene Bronco Lara para una pelea del título del mundo. Sé que estoy muy bien preparado, sé que... Vengo con muchas ganas, como lo dije, espero se haya preparado muy bien para una guerra. Yo no vengo a una pelea, yo vengo a una guerra, a morirme en la raya, a llevarme el título del mundo sí o sí. So, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not disrespecting him in any way, but I just know the capability of Bronco Lara and, and he will go on and win the world title. You know, I prepared better than ever and I prepared not for a fight, for a war and I'm prepared to leave absolutely everything in there. And finally, the UK fans have become familiar with your style, all action, dangerous, sometimes reckless, but always explosive. Is that should, what they should expect on Saturday? And do you win this fight by knockout? Obviously, you have fans, British fans, who know your style, that you are very explosive, 
a veces haces cosas muy des descuidadamente en, en el ring, ¿podemos esperar lo mismo el sábado por la noche y va a ser un caos para el Bronco Lara? Eh, claro, vengo a esto, yo os lo dije, esta pelea no va a terminar por decisión, esta pelea no, no va por decisión, entonces, como lo dije, ya Reino Unido es como mi segunda casa, me siento muy contento de que me hayan un buen recibimiento aquí, que me apoyen en redes sociales, la verdad, vengo a dar todo, vengo a dar todo este 18 de febrero. So of course, you know, um, I've prepared as well as I possibly can. I feel like um, this is almost my second home. This will definitely not go to the scorecards, I can tell you that. The UK, as I say, is like my second home. I feel like I've been supported on the social media platforms, and I'm going to give absolutely everything on the 18th. Thank you, Mauricio. Lee, welcome back. It's almost, you know, like another day in the office now. I remember giving an interview with, I think, with the BBC yesterday, and I said, I remember Carl Froch for years and years just saying to me, do me a favour, give Lee Wood six rounds on my undercard because he's just, you know, he's a great fighter and he's got big support, but he's just not getting the chances. Amazing to see that after all those struggles and all those efforts, you're in fights like this to ultimately decide, I believe, who is the number one fighter in the division on Saturday night. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a, um, a long journey to get here. Um, and first of all, why is this not public, this one? I promised a few hundred people tomorrow, a, sing, a sing song in here, you know. So I'm going to get a bit of stick for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, just that little kid um, at the French Fights trying to get a, a little slot on the undercard. Um, I've come a long way since then. Um, you know, and there's nothing that's going, to beat, that's going to beat me on Saturday night. Nothing at all. Um, nothing that he can bring that I'm not prepared for. Um, is ready for a war, but um, I'm ready for a smart, tactical knockout. Ben said yesterday that you hate going into fights as the favourite. Was that a little bit, you know, and I was surprised at the actual odds for this fight. You know, I see this fight as a 50-50 fight, as many do, but you are another big outsider going into this fight. Is that part of the mindset where you've kind of always been that underdog for your career and, and many expecting you to fall short on Saturday night, but they were against Kanzu? They were against Michael Conlon, and you keep on proving the odds wrong. Yeah, I think the underdog uh, mentality going into a fight does help a little bit. It's more of having that danger with the Zucan fight. It was punches, output, massive output. You're going to get your head used as a speedball, blah, blah, blah. So there's a bit of fear factor of that angle to get me up for the fight. With the Conlon fight, you know, it was a southpaw. Bearing in mind, I boxed one in my career before then, competitively. Um, very, very skillful and a uh, massive amateur pedigree. So there was that factor as well. This fight, you know, it's, it's a new approach, um, but a similar kind of thing. We've got the fair factor, you can punch, it's dangerous. Um, whichever way this fight goes, you know, I'm prepared for it. Um, but like you say, the underdog mentality, um, not only I strive on, but I kind of need it. So. And finally, just a couple of hundred tickets left away from a sellout. Shout out to Auntie Sue as well. has done a great job. You've done over 3,000 tickets yourself, or Sue has. Are we sell out? We're complete sell out. We've got yeah. a couple of hundred tickets there. We'll be a complete sell out on Saturday night. So if you're in Nottingham, make sure you're part of this. But a quick word on the support. You know, I mean, it's tough times at the moment. Yeah. You know, everyone is obviously have a cost of living crisis. People want more value than ever when they're attending events. They're going to get a tremendous night and a great fight on Saturday. But a word for your city that really have shown out. And last time in the Michael Conlon fight, you know, in that 9,000, there was probably 5,000 or 5,500 Nottingham and 3,500 Irish. The full lot, I mean, no disrespect to the travelling Mexican fans, but I don't think there's going to be many <laughs> on Saturday night, but 9,000 in there for you cheering, the ring walk, everything we've created. This is, this is what you've dreamed of for a long time. Yeah, it's going to be special. Um, and I've said this in previous interviews this week, you know, it is going to be a wolf pit. It's going to be a cauldron, you know, um, hostile. So massive thank you to everyone from Nottingham. And, and further afield, you know, Aunt Sue's told me that the tickets have gone all over the place, not just in Nottingham, even Ireland. Um, so we've got a few new fans as well coming down. But yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere. So thanks for getting behind me. Um, you know, every time I get in that ring, um, I put it all on the line. Every single drop of me is going into this fight. Um, whatever I have to do, um, by hook or by crook, um, by knockout or by points, whatever it takes. Um, if I have to pick myself up, I can pick myself up. I've shown in my last fight. Um, I'm resilient, I can punch, um, I'm fit. And I'm headstrong, which is the most important thing in boxing, that, that, men, that mental capacity of not deciding to give up. Well, thank you, Lee. Team Lee Wood, Team Maurizio Lara. What a fight on Saturday night. 
I am so excited for this fight, I cannot even begin to tell you. You're only going to be able to use the edge of your seat. You're going to be watching this through your fingers. You're going to need a spare pair of underpants because this fight is going to have everything. It is an absolute thriller and one of the reasons we love the sport of boxing. And just a quick shout out as well to the amateur clubs in Nottingham as well. Lee Wood, Carl Froch, part of you know, the Phoenix ABC as well. Those clubs are so important to the community, have helped fighters like Lee, like Carl Froch come through, and now they're inspiring the next generation of fighters. Parents, if you're watching this fight, take your kids to the local boxing club. Best thing you will ever do. All right, that's my preaching over with. But more importantly, what I'm going to preach about is Saturday night, live on DAZN around the world, part of a huge schedule incoming. Of course, we have Lee Wood against Maurizio Lara, this Saturday, then we move to Liverpool, Callum Smith, Mexico before that. We've got Anthony Joshua appearing on the zone in his comeback fight against Jermaine Franklin. Joe Caldina against Rakimov. Looks like Canelo Alvarez against John Ryder. Taylor Serrano from Ireland and so much more incoming. Unbelievable schedule and it all starts Saturday night. For me, one of the fights of the year, the WBA featherweight world title, Lee Wood against Maurizio Lara. Wherever you are in the world, tune into the zone and do not miss it. We'll be here for the press conference, sorry, for the weigh-in tomorrow, and it will be open to the public. Get yourself down here, plenty of noise, and we look forward to a night we will not forget on Saturday. Thank you.